Hey everybody. Scarion Games here, gonna do a quick little how-to on something that I added to this first-person shooter clone that I'm working on. Doom clone, I should say. Uh, started with a tutorial from Ms. Is, 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 and I'm just kind of tacking features on here and there. Uh, one thing that I added is a footstep sound that you may have seen in the demo slash status update video. One thing I noticed is that with my um, kind of initial implementation, the looping sound when I stopped moving would sometimes cut off awkwardly in the middle of a footstep. You might hear now that that doesn't happen. Sometimes it does sound like you maybe take one extra step after you stop moving, but that's not too bad. Um, it sounds a little more natural in my opinion. So how did I do that? Uh, so let's take a look at the script for the player character. Um, here I have uh, the script and what I did, I have this check for um, basically if the um, player character is uh, running, they that we um, go ahead and check to see if the footsteps audio player is still playing or not. Um, and if it is not playing, uh, instead of just playing it, we actually get the stream property uh, from the footsteps audio player, which we have here under the player characters node. And we set its loop mode property to the constant audio stream sample dot loop forward. And then we play it. And this is to make sure that the uh, footsteps will loop as long as we're uh, as long as we're running or sprinting. Um, this surrounding code here is actually hijacked entirely from a uh, first person shooter clone uh, control system that I hijacked. I will post a link to the GitHub in the description so you can use this as well. Um, and I just kind of inserted my changes into their code. Um, then if we ever stop uh, running or stop sprinting, um, or even if we jump and we want the footsteps to stop then, or if we fall off a cliff, for example, um, what we want to do here is, again, get the uh, stream property and set its loop mode to loop disabled uh, rather than stopping it. And that will let us uh, play the footsteps loop through to its conclusion uh, instead of stopping it partway through a step. And you can see I just have a really short uh, audio file here um, rather than a longer set of footsteps. I just have two steps. And that's that we don't have the awkward effect of, you know, you stop running and then you hear several footsteps after you stop. Uh, you might hear one depending on the timing, but again, like you may have seen in the demo, that's not gonna sound too awkward. Um, I hope this helps someone else out there aiming for this effect in your game. Thanks for tuning in.